Hi, so this is actually editing Ruth from the future. So I'm actually doing studio vlog number seven, but I'm just editing number six. So um, I've realised I haven't done the introduction and there seems to be like a technical hitch with um, another couple of the clips that I took. So, um, hello, welcome to studio vlog number six. So this vlog is about um, painting, um, illustrations, um, some different ones ready for some new surface pattern designs and then it's also about another surface pattern design that I wanted to create so um, they're not the illustrations for that particular design, they're for future ones but I was working on this one that we see in the video. So um, I won't waste any more time um as i say um i just realized that i hadn't done the introduction so here is the new video let's go so hopefully you can see what i'm doing because it's difficult for me to see the camera so i've done some sketches there you can see um of the irises just started them off so that was this iris and this one so these two um i'm not going to sketch because i'll do these on procreate um and i don't actually have the ipad here at the moment so i'm going to sketch this orchid and show you so i'm hoping you can see this um Usually I just sketch sort of roughly and then most of the detail I put in with the painting and I don't do it obviously exact because I like to do it in my own sort of style usually it's just like a, an outline so I can see what I'm painting. There we go, and then I just put a few little bits on it so I know. I think it's a little bit longer than that one, but that's fine. And then I'm going to go for a sea holly. Go for this one. really have any specific way that I sketch like drawing from the middle out or you know I just draw whatever
So again with this um, middle bit here, I wouldn't really put all them dots on there because when you paint it, because you're using pencil, it makes it slightly greyer anyway. So the more detail you put on it, the more muddy it becomes. So I would leave that blank and then I would paint it green, um, do some sort of like... Um, darker in the middle and lighter at the outside just to give it some shading and then I would add the colour of the little um, flower dots on the top I wouldn't actually draw those little bits there and the same with sort of like the leaves all these like little veins and stuff I wouldn't draw them in pencil I would um, watercolour them first in like a green and then do maybe like a light white wash over the top to give like the silver effect and then I would add these um, with pure watercolour or um, some kind of pen yeah so I just sketched the outside of that one um, with the orchids it's a little bit different I just do add a few little lines just to give me an idea of how the veins work um, and the iris is kind of the same really just drawing the outline not doing too much with detail I do a lot of the detail with the colour with the watercolours and the coloured pencils so yeah, so I'm going to carry on doing some more sketching. Um, I'm going to do a few different ones of these. Sea holly, and then I'm going to do this nice blossom, um, the leaf foliage and the fuchsias. So hopefully there'll be about two or three pages of sketches. And then I'll film some painting later. Bye for now. So here are the finished sketches. I've um, done the ones that you saw already and then I did the um, little blossom again it doesn't look much of a sketch but once the colours added and the details it looks better then I did um, fuchsia, another fuchsia the foliage although it ended up being quite long but when it's on Photoshop and Illustrator I can um, shorten it so that's not so bad um, and then just at the top there is another sea holly um, I actually drew it upside down by mistake so it's actually the other way around but I'll rectify that in the painting so yeah so um, there's quite a few sketches there so I'm going to start painting them after lunch and then hopefully I can film some of that as well Hi guys, so um, that's the second page. So I've started painting this page. Um, you can see that there. So what I've done is just put down some um, some coats because with my watercolour I usually layer the paint. So I've put down um, a few coats here. Um, let me grab the photo for you. So this is the photo. So obviously you can see that there's blue there, purple, white, silver, and there's green as well. So rather than putting down a flat coat, I do sort of like some purple, some blues, some greens and stuff like that. And then once this is dry, I'll go over the top with um, the watercolour pencils. Um, and then create a more consistent sort of blue colour around it and then I might add a, a little bit of white to create some silver some highlights on the top um, and then I add the darker details so I always start with the lightest colour first um, because I find, I'm not sure if that's the right way to do it but it's the way I do it because I always find if you start with the dark colours and when you come to the end to put the highlights on the lighter colours don't, they've always got a dark colour underneath so they're never as light as as it should be so I always start with the lightest colours first. So I'm just waiting for that one to dry. So I usually move on to another one whilst one is drying. So I've moved on to the leaf one. So um, I'm using the, I think it's called fresh green, leaf green colour for this one. So I also, um, a lot of my watercolours are quite detailed. So I don't tend to let them run into each other. 
So what I tend to do is rather than like paint that bit and then let it, let it dry and paint the next one, I always um, paint the one after, so every other one. So I do that. And then obviously on this one side, on this photo, sorry, um, this side is a lot lighter than this side because this side has got the light shining onto it. This side has got a more, lot more shadows and darker. So again, I always start with the lightest colour first. So this is the leaf green colour, which is the lightest colour. So I'm just doing that. But... So what I'm going to do now is obviously this afternoon I've actually got to go and pick up my Saint Bees shopping, um, click and collect. So by the time I get back um, it's going to be too dark to film. So what I'm going to do is, once I've just finished this little bit, I'm going to paint with you this fuchsia here and I'm going to try and get it done like in one go. So you can see it from start to finish and me adding all the little details as well. So I'm going to do that before I go out. So I'm going to put down the first coats first and film that and obviously I'll let it dry in between. So this is actually this um, fuchsia here. So I'm not really sure whether to use this colour um, for it or whether to pick this colour from the other one because um, this is quite a light colour and I'm not quite sure you're going to see the detail unless I make it a little bit more pink so I might do that instead so I'm going to set all this up and then I'll come back and film with you so because this one has got a lot of white in it and my paint palette doesn't have a white in it I'm now using my um, watercolour um, palette paper so um, I've got my watercolour tubes here um, so I've got some white in there this colour which is like a rose it's called permanent rose so I'm going to use some of that as well and the white so I'm just going to I've got some here already but it's a bit dry so I'm just going to add a little bit more white over near here. So we see, although I said I don't really mix paint that much. Hi guys, so it's now a few days later because my battery died um, when I was going to film this. And then I had to go and pick up the Sainsbury's collection. So by the, time, by the time I got back, it was dark. So I just carried on with these ones um, that day. So I've done the um, Sea Holly here. And then the foliage one here. It's quite long. And then I've just literally just finished painting this fuchsia. So it's still a little bit wet. So we're going to be painting this one, this fuchsia now. So I've got everything set up. I'm just getting it so that you can see what I'm doing. So um, obviously I used my photograph, um, or this is my dad's photograph of some fuchsias, um, and then I sketched it out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use these colours because um, they're quite pale and I don't think you'll be able to see it on the camera. So um, I'm going to use pink but obviously it might be slightly darker and um, probably similar to the one here already. So I'm going to start painting now. So as you know I use watercolours and watercolour pencils. So here we go. Mm -hmm. Any other paints as well, so everything's nearby.
so as I said before I just put down like a base coat of um, watercolour um, and then I once that's dry I then do the sort of like detail afterwards again I use watercolours and then I will use the watercolour pencils for that so it's just a case of um, getting those colours down first So I'm going to stop this in a minute just because when it comes to editing I will speed it up but the bit where I talk over it to begin with I can't speed that up because then I sound all like squeaky. So I'm going to stop it in a second and then the next part will be the same thing uh, but it will just be sped up so you can see it quicker. I'll just do this little bit. I'm going to stop it now.
so far. Nak lanjut kan? Hi guys. So um, I'm just going to start on my next pattern that I'm doing. So um, I've done had this pattern, this rainbow pattern. Um, on my stationery and gift wrapping, the rainbow one. Um, but I wanted to extend it because it only consists of one pattern and I wanted to make it sort of a bit of a collection. So um, for my degree, I did a book cover um, for an Enid Blyton book, which was The Enchanted Wood. As you can see there, that was the book cover that I did. So that was the artwork that I've got. So I created a um, a fairy, so it's like a fairy pattern. So these are the watercolours that I did for them. So I've got a fairy, a squirrel and two fairy doors. So I want to make a fairy pattern basically, which I think will fit with this um, design as well. Um, and it will become like a bigger collection. So what I'm going to do is, um, these watercolour elements are already um, on, um, I've got them as a PSD file, so they're already on there. Um, I'm just scanning through like a background texture. So what I've done is I've drawn um, like the wings of the fairy in black fine liner and created like, um, so they look a bit like lace. And then that's going to be an O all over background and um, texture background for the pattern and then i'm going to put on obviously the fairy um the squirrel the two doors and some other elements um to create like the surface pattern design so i'm going to do that now um so i'm going to do a couple of stages first um and bring it up on screen and then i'm going to film um the next part of it so i'm just going to do that and then i'll be back with you Oh, by the way, it's really cold. I'm, I'm not putting the heating on because I'm at home all the time. I don't put the heating on too much. So I've just got my extra wrap. So I've started on my um, fairy pattern. <coughs> Excuse me. So I've gone for just a plain um, pink background. Then I did some like swirl texture just in the background, again with a darker pink colour. Um, these are what I picked out from the um, rainbow pattern, these colours. Then I added some leaves. Um, these leaves I was going to do in like a cream or a white or a silver, but actually they look better being green. So all I did was change the, because these are line work, um, leaves um so they're created with um black fine liners you can see the um texture there um so what i did was i picked green for the um fill color and then the stroke color i picked as a very pale pink so that you could see the line work texture on it then this was the um sort of like fairy wing or lace wing texture so this is actually let me just show you it in my sketchbook so here's my sketchbook so you can see there it's just like a wing um or like part of a butterfly it could be but it's supposed to be a fairy wing and um, with just some detail on it again with a black fine liner um so that was that and i didn't just change the opacity down um because this, this is in the blue colour that was from the rainbow pattern and I just changed the opacity down just so it was um, a little bit lighter. Then I added the star effect um, which you can find on Illustrator just because I wanted to add some sort of like magical bits to it. I'm not sure how these are going to turn out when I get it printed but um, I'm going to try it out on printing it on paper first and see how it looks. I wanted some sort of like magical sparkle effect. This is the fairy. So I've added the fairy in just on um, a sort of like random overall pattern and at different um, image sizes. So some are small fairies and some are a little bit larger fairies. The same again with the blue door, a little fairy door. Um, so I've just put two in here. Um, then I added the squirrel. 
So just a couple of squirrels, there's one at the top there, there's one there, and I think there was one down here, yeah, hiding at the bottom there. So I just put him in. And the same with the green door, I just added the green door, just as a difference. Then the mushroom, so you can see the red there of the mushroom. It's in like a bit of a sporadic pattern, the motifs. Um rather than like a conversational pattern where you sort of group them together a little bit more um, but again I'm just going to print this out and see what it looks like on paper um, and then make any changes from that so that's where I've got to for so far so I've just saved that as an AI file at the moment then I'm going to change it to a JPEG file print it out on some plain paper and just see how it looks so that'll be the next point so I'm just going to do that and then I'll show you again. So here's the pattern saved as a JPEG. Um, I've printed it out, so here it is on paper. Um, here you go, you can see the details there. Um, I'm not really sure if it's quite right. What I might try and do is group some of the motifs together. So maybe have like... Um, a large fairy with a small fairy in front of one of the little fairy doors with some mushrooms next to them. Um, so make it more of a conversational print and just see how that goes. Um, I think that might look a bit stronger um, and I can always make them um, the groups a bit bigger as well to have more of an impact. I do like the, the way the star sort of thing has come out is really good. And I do like the texture in the background. I might change the little swirl pattern um, to make it more in the background and bring forward the lace wing texture forward a bit more so that more that's more prominent. So yeah, a few little tweaks to do. Um, but so far I think I like the colours. They don't particularly match the rainbow now. Um, so again, I don't know whether to put a rainbow in there. Um, so it matches, I'm not really sure. So yeah, um, I'm going to go back to the drawing board and then see again what to do. So um, I've done it into a conversational pattern. Um, this was the first printout I did. So you can see they're grouped together now. So there's a large fairy with a small fairy some mushrooms, a door and a little squirrel um, but in the background the little sort of circle shapes are still dark pink there um, so again I still wasn't quite happy with how it was so what I decided to do was change those dark pink circle shapes into a lighter pink colour um, so this is it printed here and I've actually filled the colour in with a light pink and then it's got a slightly darker border you can't really see it on here um, so that's how it looks on the screen yeah so I'm happy with that now I'm happy with the way it looks um, you, this again you still can't really see it on here I'll hold it up can you see that oh it's upside down <laughs> there you can see it in focus there so yeah I'm happy with that now so I think that looks okay so I'm going to copyright this now um, and then I can post it on social media when I want to and I'll probably make this into some wrapping paper um, and some gift tags um, I don't know if I'm going to do cards or not probably not I think it would just be gift tags and wrap for the time being yeah that oh, and some stickers. Yeah, definitely stickers. Yeah, so that's my surface pattern for today. And then later, um, after I've copyrighted this, I'm going to make it into a mock-up. So I'll choose probably a wrapping paper mock-up and do it on there or gift bag. Hi guys, so it's Monday morning, uh, Monday the 18th of January. Um, so I'm just finishing off my studio vlog for last week, um, which was the painting and surface pattern. Um, 
You remember that I did the fairy pattern, so over the weekend and the last few days I wasn't really quite happy with it. Um, so this is how it looks, I think you can see that there, this is how it looks. So um, I'm really happy with the background texture and everything. It was just the, sort of I decided to do it in a conversational print, um, so group the sort of like motifs together but I still wasn't quite happy with it. So I've come back on there today and I have done this little um, little bit here. So I've popped it in a circle and then done the sort of like, um, made it into more of a little sort of story. So I've done the tree here with the fairy door on it. The smallest fairy, she's flying so she's just slightly off the ground a little bit. Um, oh. I've just done something, there we go. Um, so yeah, made it more properly like a conversational design. So I'm going to take off these groups here, but leave the fairies around the edge. And then put these on just in random places. Um, and I might change the colours of the circle in the background. And change one of the doors to a green door, so it's not all the same. So I'm just going to do that now, and then I'll print that off and then hopefully that will work okay and then that will be the finished design so I'm just going to do that now and then we'll I'll show you the result afterwards so we're back on with the um, pattern so here it is with the circles and then the little conversational print inside I decided to originally I had them all green but then I picked up the rainbow um, design again and obviously had that had more purple in it so I added the purple. was going to make them all purple but decided I'd like the contrast of the green and the purple so I decided to do it like this. So I think this looks much better because you can see the background um, textures of the like lacy wing, the squiggles in the background and the leaf and then the odd fairy with the little magical bit, little star bit. But then you've got the conversational print in the circles. So I'm going to print this off. Um, I'll zoom in for you so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to print this off as it. So yeah that looks much better, um, for some reason the colour is quite saturated, um, this happened on my degree work this week as well so I don't know what's happened there but um, yeah um, I think it's okay so I think we're going to go with, we're def I definitely prefer this design anyway, um, the colour I'll just have to tweak but yeah. So that's the end of this vlog, um, give me a second. I'll guys so um you can see me a bit better now i just had to um take the camera off the i've got like a selfie stick that i'm using at the moment instead of a tripod so yeah so i'm going to go with this design i'm just going to sort out the color um and then i'm going to copyright it so it's all done so like i do this one so this was the other one and i just copyrighted it with my copyright house so i'm just going to do that with that one um, and then I'm going to decide what to do with it. I'll probably get a sample of fabric for it. And then as I say, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do um, for the stationery and gift wrapping. Um, whether I'm going to do some wrapping paper or some cards or something completely different. So yeah, but that's it. I hope you like this vlog. Um, obviously it was a little bit different. It was some painting and surface pattern this week. Next week it will probably be just like a normal week in the studio um, and then in a couple of weeks or it might be the next week I'm not really sure on timings yet I've got a new collection that I'm going to be launching so it'll be all the prep for that um, and some other things coming up but yeah please 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 subscribe it really helps my business to grow um, obviously it doesn't cost anything to subscribe but it helps get my um, video up in the sort of like 
viewings so the more people that subscribe the more people will get to see it and then the more people that get to see it um, get to see my designs and my work and everything and it gets it out there more it gets it shared more um, it will help my um, websites and everything like that so give it a thumbs up as well and any feedback anything that you want to see coming up um, or any feedback at all would be greatly received so yeah, and I'll see you next week for the next one. Bye for now.